inside the hyperbolic reaction chamber and this is another reaction to assassination classroom yes assassination classroom I for, i'm so hyped right now i forgot the name of the episode i forgot the number of the episodes so i'm going to skip that banner you know put it all together it's how many episodes is there i'm gonna be honest with you on that one all right where we last left off guys i'm sorry i left y'all on the cliffhanger i just had the nb bob yesterday y'all know that uh, when we last left off, the principal, Principal also know, put has Core Sensei in the bind. Core Sensei sitting at the uh, at this desk at at these desk, trying to solve a quick little math equation as fast as you can before a bomb explodes with anti Core Sensei BBs and all that fiery death that awaits Core Sensei. Is there a way he can get out? Get out of this? I hope so, cause boy, that's just that's just not fair. And like I said, if anybody kills Cora Sensei, it has to be Class E. <sighs> Man. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. I'm ready to get back on. You guys are ready for this? You guys are ready for this? Alright, without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. And also, the full uncut reaction and its entirety will, will be in the link in the description below. Will be the link in the description below to my Google Drive where you can see it for yourself. And will also be the Unstoppable Army Discord. You guys can join the Discord, talk to amongst others of the Amani Army, use the Amanjis. We can talk about anime, life, funny stuff. I'm there, I'll be there to meet and greet you all. That's going to be a great way for us to interact with each other. I'll be there. I hope to see y'all there. So let's do this. This is Assassination Classroom right now. Here we are. Here we are right here. He's not going to be able to survive the next one. Alrighty then. Open, solved, and closed. Fortunately, I just so happen to remember, more or less, which questions are on what page in this particular series of books. Math was the only <laughs> trouble spot. That one's been loaned out to a student for so long I'd forgotten. Huh? Okay. Do you know these books backwards and forwards? A rather he, remarkable coincidence. He memorized all that. Just these. I've committed all of Japan's test materials to memory. You say no moving out of the blast radius until the given problem is solved? Very well. That little caveat is nothing to a passionate educator. I'm sorry, sir. You sincerely thought you'd gotten the better of me, huh? My, my. A class is crushing the wow. must have you in a tizzy. I'm afraid this one dimensional stratagem <laughs> may wind up getting the better of you. One dimensional? You have it. Last book. Your turn, I believe. What is oh, it? Oh, like? heartbeat. Staring your own demise in the face. They say one's life flashes before one's eyes. What do you see, Principal? What's flickering by in that exemplary brain? Sir. Sir? Oh, Sir? shit. Oh my god, I'm ready for this! A noble effort, Ikeda. Maybe next time. Hey, a deal's a deal. Wait a minute. You behave yourself today. <sighs> oh, dang. <laughs> Wait a Here's minute. Sir, you're totally a superhuman or something. Hey, Mr. Asano? Why does a beast like you start a cram school in an abandoned shack like this? I thought you graduated from some big college with loads of credentials and stuff. No offense, sir, but it seems like a waste of talent to me. Not to mention how far we all gotta hike. Come now, Nagai. Nothing is for naught in this world of ours. This mountain is wonderfully safe. Wow! And the hike is good exercise. Whatever. Basketball stars can't just study. Give me a break. I've got tons of pent-up <laughs> energy. <laughs> you don't say. A basketball star. <laughs> Fine dream. Oh shit! He dumped the fuck out that ball. Play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, yeah, right. Like I could win against a superhuman. 
Good point. I have one or two abilities you haven't cultivated in yourself just yet, huh? Interesting. Your classmates could just as well say the same about you. Uh, I, uh, sorry, Nagai. Oh, it's cool. Hmm. Everyone has faults. We all have to grow into our strength, but He's also come to understand how it affects those around us. He sounds like Koro Sensei! I put everything I had into my daily lesson plans. In just one year, the students were coming along brilliantly. What's this? A Kanugi Oakley tie clip. Neat, huh? We pulled our allowances together to buy it. Probably peanuts compared to what you make off your stock portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, just because it's grown a thousand percent. Wow, you, you seriously, seriously could have kept, kept that to yourself. yourself. I, I'll cherish this. Oh. <laughs> hey, you got us into our first pick schools. Yeah, no way we could have done it without you. <laughs> when I grow up, sir, it could do you mind if I come and visit more. sometime? <laughs> How time flies. Wow. have grown into such wonderful students. Ikada, great to hear from you. Long time no see. Things are going good for you, huh? Can't complain. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to catch up and see how you were doing. That's very kind. Thank you. Uh, what about you? Not out there causing trouble, I hope. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I'm just a regular Samaritan now, thanks to you. Anyway, you sound busy. I should let you go. Let's do dinner sometime. Your treat, of course. Later. <laughs> I have business in that neck of the woods next week. Perhaps I'll stop by. <laughs> huh? Any more? They said it was a suicide. Some horrible older boy on his team drove him to it, apparently. Used to beat him up and take his money. Poor thing couldn't take it anymore. That's oh. awful. And he'd been such a sweet boy since junior high. Still, though, I mean, you'd think the young man would stand up for himself. What on earth have I been teaching these children? How to be good students? What was I thinking? Does dying make you a good student? Oh my god. I have an obligation to make them strong. For this will have been for nothing. But then... What is strength? Until I have the answer, I have no right to teach. From there, things changed quickly. Wow. I learned all sorts of strengths. I sweet-talked the men who drove my student to suicide, put them on the road toward a disastrous gambling addiction. That's the guy, oh my God, that was earlier. Holy shit! Soon, I opened another school. The old campus building that symbolized my weakness would stand as a lesson to others. Strong. I wanted to make them strong. Strong young men and women who could survive, sacrificing others if need be. To that end, I would need more funding, more staff. If it could serve my goal, I would use it. All to educate. To and that's why. True strength. That's why he wants Cora Sensei. Yet here I stand. Abandoned by the strong and the weak alike. The only thing before me. Certain death. Koro Sensei. You may well destroy the earth. Even so, as far as my educational philosophy, it would make absolutely no difference whatsoever. Whoa! Whether now or in March, death will come for us all in the end. Well, yeah. strength won't matter. Oh my God! The students won't suffer alone, and in a way, my vision will have been fulfilled. <laughs> Somebody forgot about. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Your once a month trick. And why precisely would you not use it on yourself? Because I was saving it for you, silly man. I suspected if I won, I forgot. I'd be fairly good you'd think nothing of blowing yourself to bits. But 
How could you be so sure of what I do? Because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Y'all do. We're both stubborn you education do. fiends, willing to forfeit our lives for the privilege of molding young minds. I hope you won't mind, but I took the liberty of speaking to your old cram school students. I wanted to get their impressions of you as a teacher. How did Imagine he know? my surprise upon learning that the idea of teaching you exemplified 12 years ago is identical to mine. Though as far as students are concerned, I've been lucky. E-class is a marvelous proving ground. There are a fair number of students, you see, and they all share the same predicament. These boys and girls work as a team, unafraid to ask for help or to hold each other up. And if I may point out, credit for conceiving of and implementing this class goes first and foremost to you. You have it. You started it. You sir, you've been abiding by the same vision you began with all along. Incidentally, I'm the only thing this knife can kill. The taking of human life plays no part in our approach. You and I are one and the same principle. We don't teach killing. We teach life. So why not stay true to ourselves and continue <gasps> down this road? Wow. I see no reason why you and E-Class can't remain here as you are. <laughs> Still too proud to admit defeat, I see. Oh, and do you mind if I pop by and try my hand at killing you once in a while? Be my guest. Oh my god, did he just reform the principle? Oblige a worthy rival. <laughs> Holy shit, we're gonna talk about this. That pristine facade is crumbling. You've lost, I can tell by your face. Something I can help you with. Asano. No, no. Just thought I'd come by to cheer you up. That and show you my wounded face. Perhaps some monetary compensation would help ease the pain a bit. <laughs> but feel free to take me to court. Though, of course, don't expect to win. You'll never win against me, Asano. No matter how strong you think you become. And what makes you so certain of that? Because I don't intend to ever stop growing. As a teacher or as a father. <laughs> so, yeah. About that reward. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. In return for ranking in the top 50, I promise to share a critical weakness. Well, children, they know I about the heart. Very little power. I'm designed for speed. When at a perfect standstill, one of my tentacles can be held down even by a single person. Hey, wait. If eight of us teamed up on you all at once, you're saying we could essentially paralyze you, right? Man, if we had known that sooner, this would have been easy as pie. This is bunk. You only told us because you knew it would be impossible. Mm, not having any luck? The trick is to <laughs> pretend you're hand fishing for slime eels. Hi. <laughs> so then, for our main crew, Mimura will direct, and Hazama will write naturally. Thoughts on our leads? You know, I'm available. You're supposed to be a state secret. This is our play. Yep. <laughs> His cos his cosplay is horrible. All right then, I have a play. One where you can be the lead without upstaging us. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Great. Sounds like a plan. Let's put on a show the likes of which those. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Never seen. A peach. Uh, the greatest medical minds are baffled. Kazaki. But by some strange miracle, there's a baby growing inside. Upon hearing this, the old man's eyes lit up. Excellent, he thought. This peach will bring riches. What a stroke of luck! A miracle indeed! So People will pay good money to see this peach! They'll come from far and wide! I'll be richer than any king! Divorce papers. The old woman had been thinking of leaving him for some time. His greed, choice of words, and complete disregard for child welfare decided her. At long last, she'd had enough of his selfish nature. Ritsu. The marriage was over. For good. For 30 years, she'd borne her husband's cruelty, his disinterest. Not only had he consistently failed to bring home the bacon, the old woman possessed incontrovertible evidence of his infidelity. In court, oh, God. Have a prayer. Ms. Yelovich? In desperation, he hired a band of thugs to strong arm her. But being incompetent, they were hauled off by police. My hot the old one too. Woman shed her misery and started over. She gave the miracle peach pride of place in her lovely new home. 
Life was sweet as it had been in her youth. Happiness and serenity surrounded her. All-consuming greed had driven the old man to unspeakable evil. Oh, so so you know. Perhaps that the look. fabled demon haunted island of Onigashima is none other than the human heart. The miracle peach will bear its child very soon. Will it too be prey to demons? <laughs> <laughs> Say what you will about my writing style, words leave an unmistakable. Definitely written by her. <laughs> you know it. I transported them. What the hell did I just sit through? He has my school in his grip, as surely as if his very tentacles were wrapped around the campus. Even so, carefree though they seem, E Class won't get a fairy tale sort of ending. The Ministry of Defense has big plans, and yet. Based on my experience of such things, the only person qualified to predict what may happen next is me. I can't help but wonder, Koro Sensei, can one be a teacher amidst the coming storm? And there you have it, guys. That was that great, feel good, smiles everywhere episode of Assassination Classroom. All right, so wow, absolutely wow. My mind was blown the whole time. Let's talk about the main subject of the episode, Principal Osano. Okay, it's 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 amazing. He used to teach up there. Uh, it, the the class E building just used to just be like his own personal cram school with just three students, Ikuda, Mori, and Naga. Just I, I remember those names. Oh man. Used to be a cram school just for those three, and then it turned, then over time it just turned, you know, it was just booming. It was just turning into something big. They moved, uh, his three students moved on, and one of them, Ikada, ended up committing suicide due to bullying. Wow, that was heartbreaking. That broke off Principal Asano in half. And that's why he's like this now. That's why he's, his teaching methods are so harsh or so brutal. Which it's all about strength because he felt like his old teaching methods were just weak, and that's what ended up with he could, uh committing suicide. And of course, since they made a very valid point, they both are alike teaching methods. Teaching methods. They both the way how they the way how they teaches the way how they teach are different, but their same goal is the same. They they're both super, not superhuman because here of course since it's not a human, but just super. With their own little abilities, and it's just oh my fucking goodness! I didn't want also to the die at the end with the with the grenade, so I forgot all about Corsair since his little shed right there. Of course, Corsair since was wasn't gonna let him die right there. Just wow! It makes me just think at the end, guys. Is it? Will he? Corsair since why do you want to destroy the planet again? <laughs> you know, fuck. Well, I gotta see the end of this, guys. Let's keep going on this. I really enjoyed this episode. What y'all think about that? That was awesome. So leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, y'all. Um, that's a bit. That's pretty much it. Well, once again, great episode. I can't wait to see more of this, guys. And thank y'all for watching this with me. Sayonara.